If you're a ski or snowboarder, chances are you've heard about the amazing powder snow in Japan and going there is on your bucket list. So in this video, I will give you all the best tips for going to the greatest ski resort in Japan, Niseko. And I'll answer the question, does the powder snow in Japan really live up to all the hype? Let's find out. To get to Niseko, I first took a flight to Sapporo Airport, and then from there, I caught a train for around 3 hours to Niseko train station, and finally a taxi to our guest house in Hirafa village. I know you can also catch a bus from the airport directly to all the villages in Niseko, but you need to book it in advance online, which I didn't. This is the room we're staying in for. Six days, a traditional Japanese <laughs> room with the Japanese floor. At least we got proper beds. But yeah, it's gonna be fun. Let's check out the view. Oh, snow. Cool. Let's talk about food. I opted to pay for breakfast at my guest house, which I think was totally worth it. Such a good breakfast. For dinner, I usually went to the local restaurant, like this ramen place, which was delicious. The restaurants in Iseko are expensive, and the cheapest food I could find were the food trucks down in Hurath village. We could get food for around a thousand yen, like burritos or kebab, but most restaurants are around 2,000 yen and I even paid 2,500 yen for just a pizza one time. So some nights I even ended up buying ramen from the grocery store and making it in my guest house just to save some money. I usually don't eat lunch when I'm skiing because I want to use all my time on the slopes. But if you're hungry during lunchtime, there's plenty of places you can eat up in the mountain. They're quite expensive though, so keep that in mind. What's up guys, today I thought I'd bring you along on a normal day skiing in Japan. So the last four days it's been snowing so much, haven't been able to film anything except on the GoPro. It's been minus 12, snowing all day long, all night long, so good pal. Today is the first day with clear weather, so I'm gonna take you along on a normal day of skiing in Japan. It's gonna be sick, let's do it! I bought the six day all mountain ski pass for 44,000 yen that let me ski in all four areas of the mountain. I'll put the website in the description so you can check out all the prices. The ski rental I got cost 35,000 yen for ski boots and powder skis for six days. A thing to keep in mind is the fact you can't rent ski goggles there, so you have to either buy your own pair or bring your own. I didn't know this, so I had to pay 6,000 yen buy a pair of ski goggles, so don't be like me, bring your own ski goggles, save some money. Finally, the question everyone's been waiting for. Is the snow in Japan really that good and does it live up to all the hype? Yep, it does. I've been skiing in Sweden and the Alps and the fluffy light snow in Japan is just on another level. It also snows so much in Iseko. When I was there, it was snow all the time, every day, except one day. And on that one particular day, 
the sun was out, so the snow became a bit icy on the top. But all the other days, the snow was just pouring down and the power was absolutely amazing. The best time of year to go skiing in Iseko is uh, between December and February March. So if you're planning your trip, keep that in mind. Changed quite quickly up here. Look at the snow from being clear to this. The ski lift's even close because it's too much wind, so we're not sure how to get back, but we'll find a way. The line for the ski lifts were on average short and I really never had to stand in line for more than a couple minutes. The exception was on a particular windy day when they had to close down some of the biggest lifts on the mountain, which resulted in more than 30 minute lines at the bottom ski lifts and even longer lines for the shuttle bus as the ski routes connecting the different ski areas became unreachable. But on normal days with all of the lifts open, you barely had to wait at all to catch the ski lift. It's very nice and easy. Last thing I want to mention is the onsens you can find yeah. in the Seco. If you're looking for anything to do after a long ski day, there's plenty of onsens, aka hot springs, you can go to in most hotels around Niseko and Hirafa village. The two onsens I visited were called the Prince Hotel and the Alpen Hotel in Niseko and they both had indoor, outdoor hot springs and a cold plunge and saunas. I think it's the best way to let your body recover after a long ski day and where I went the onsen only cost around a thousand yen so it's really affordable too. I hope this video is useful, if it was, please give it a like and a subscribe. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next one.